Hey, what's going on, Facebook family? Hope you're enjoying your day off, vacation day possibly. So I wanna ask you a quick question. Quick question. How much do you personally invest in a healthy marriage? If you're in a healthy marriage, even if you're not, if you're in a marriage, how much do you personally invest? That's the question. Or how much should you invest? And as interesting uh, as many of you know, today is my 18th wedding anniversary. My wife and I have been together for 20 years. It's kind of crazy to think. Uh, we met 20 years ago. And I'm going to speak on one statistic. And I figured I wanted to, I was, I was curious to uh, how much I personally invested in the health. Now, I'm not talking about like having date nights and things like that. I'm talking about just physically speaking in the health of my marriage because the way I see it, and I don't know about you, but I think you'll agree is when you invest in your health and you're taking good care of yourself and your health, you're also taking care of the health of your marriage. And I'm not talking about like overly done. I'm just talking about your own physical health, taking care of yourself so that you can have a healthy marriage, physically speaking. And we're just talking physically speaking. Now the mental part and all that, yeah, you, you got to work that out yourself. So I wanted to actually do a little research and I said, well, Okay, my wife and I have been working out pretty religiously for the past, since we've been together. So that's 20 years. And I did a little math and I thought this was interesting and something maybe you can do in a little evaluation of yourself and see how much you're actually investing in the actual health, your personal health for your marriage, for a healthy marriage. So we've been together 20 years and I did a little math. I even wrote it down 365 days a year. Now, I would say there hasn't been too many weeks where I haven't gone in the past 20 years where I absolutely did nothing. Uh, maybe a week here or two, but I'm going to be conservatively speaking. So let's say 20 years, 20 years, 365 days a year. I even took off two weeks just for, let's just say a week here or there, maybe vacation, so forth, so on. So that comes out to 351 days and then let's just say that I worked out and we average about three to four times a week, probably more so. But let's just say conservatively speaking, three days a week, which is 42 point something percent of the week. 42 percent of my week, I work out as far as in an hour here, 30 minutes there. I'm just talking about exercising, right? And I'm not going to break it down in the hours and all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to say on days. So 42 percent of my week, I actually do spend in, in a time I'm doing something for my personal health. So I'm doing the math. So three days a week, 365 days a year, minus say two weeks for vacation time. So that comes out to 20 years times 351 days is 7,020 days. That's total, 7,020 days. Now we're taking that, timesing it by 42% or taking 42% 40 of those days that comes out to 2,948 days days. So let's just round it up. Okay. Let's just do the math. Round it up to say, let's just say 3000 days out of the last 20 years. And I would say this cons conservatively speaking for both my wife and I, we've personally invested over the past 20 years. And if you want to, how do you stay in good shape, Mark? How do you do it? You know, how are you able to, you know, we've, we've been told we don't look in our, for work rounding 50 very soon. My wife and I are both in our later forties, 47 years old to, to be exact. I'm a little bit older than her and she'll tell you that for sure. But I would say is let's just say 3000 days over the past 20 years, we've done some sort of exercise and that's conservatively speaking. So let's just say somewhere in the round 3000 days. Days. It might have been a 30 minute workout today. As I say that, because I just finished, it's our anniversary, and she worked out earlier. I got my workout in. Um, I did some some stretching. I did uh, some sprints. I was really excited about that. Feeling really good on there. It took me about 30 minutes, but I, I'm counting that as that. So my investment over the past 20 years is about 3,000 days. And my question to you is quite simply how much if you've been married one year let's just say you work out and i'm talking physically speaking i'm not even talking about diet and nutrition and all. i'm talking about exercise about just activity do some inventory take a look are you working out once a week do you not work out at all physically speaking chances are you're not investing any time in the health of 
yourself personally, which is also not benefiting your marriage either, as far as in a health standpoint. Why is that so important? Now, it's like, oh, well, I'm okay with not working out. I feel pretty good. Life is pretty good. I feel pretty good. I don't have too many aches and pains. I'm enjoying life. I'm enjoying, you know, food and I enjoy this and I don't have anything going on. But I can tell you is that sooner or later, chances are sooner than later, you're going to feel the effects of not making that investment now. And the way I like to think of it is, think of what happened when the coronavirus just struck down and everything shut down and next thing you know, the, the economy's crashing and businesses are closing and that. That's to some extent the same types of things that happen. I've seen it time and time again, watching people who don't invest in themselves, invest in their marriages. And, and here's the thing, when you're not confident of yourself, you're not physically speaking, you're not confident in your body, the way you look, it has an effect on your marriage. I don't even care, I'm not a marriage counselor, I won't even claim to be a marriage counselor. We've gone through our ups and downs, things were crazy, we have our faith and our God at the center of it, and that's truly what binds us. But also, in addition, taking care of ourselves, and we, we fuel each other. We're both, we're attracted. In fact, we met in a environment. She kind of went to a holiday party where we met. Uh, her close friend was a, a, an instructor for a health club in New York, and I was, and we met there, and it, we've never stopped. We've boxed together. We've been spinning together. We've done triathlons together. We do, we surf together. We paddleboard together. We bike ride together, do all those things, and I'll truly, you want to know one of the things that's really helped bind our marriage, the health of our marriage? very simple, is we've invested hours into our own personal health. Three, about 3,000 hours over the past 20 years, to be exact. Does that make any sense? So here's my, here's my um, wisdom to those of you who maybe are married a year, maybe are looking to get married, is now, don't get me wrong, physical value has some value. It isn't the only thing. To me, it's actually not even the most important thing, but it is very valuable. And I won't even get into some of the other things, maybe more intimate details. Those aren't for you. Those are behind closed doors. But I can just tell you, being married for 20 years and feeling that my wife's hotter now than she ever. And I know she might be embarrassed, so hopefully she won't listen to this. That I feel she, I'm more attracted to her now 20 years later than I ever was ever before. Is that because she sat around and did nothing it didn't invest any time in her personal health? Absolutely not. It's because she is pursuing it and there's an attractiveness. As a husband, there's an attractive, and I'm sure it goes both ways, right? Nothing worse than you have a husband you married and he was in good shape when you got married and then he fell all apart. Yes, you're gonna love him till the day you die, but doesn't it help that you're pursuing a healthy path? And I want you to know that if you're struggling right now, and I'm just telling you this because it's something that we talk about often and we're like, we're so grateful that we're both on our own personal path, our physical path, pursuing our best health, but on this journey as well together in a relationship that we've been bound to together for the past 18 years. And when you were talking about it and laughing, it was like 18 years. Ooh, that was a long time. But then you hear people that have been married for 30 and 40 and 50 years. And I'll tell you what, now, while the physical value uh, isn't the only thing that's valuable. It is super valuable, so, so valuable. So I'm gonna encourage you, if you haven't invested any time, is take an inventory. Look at the amount of time you're investing in yourself, in your personal health. If you're not investing in anything, think of it in terms of your relationship with your spouse and say, now, mind you, it isn't the only thing. I, 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 won't, I can't stress that enough. But I can say is for somebody who's been married for and known my wife for 20 years and been married for 18 of those years to her, it has a huge value being physically, a, physically confident in your own body, physically confident with your spouse, being able to do the things that you want to do, enjoy time together, do active things, not just exercise, just active things. It is very exciting. I don't know about you, but I don't want to live a mediocre life. I don't want to have just a normal, what's normal anyway? There's no normal anymore. But to have like a, a truly active and fulfilling life. And again, it might not just be physical, but I can tell you, you're missing out if you're not investing. You might not even need 3,000 hours in the next 20 years. Maybe you just need to start with an hour a week. And if you don't know what that looks like, I'm going to challenge you to start. If you have no idea where to start, you say, Mark, even for the last 20 years, my spouse and I have never really spent much time. Maybe we've you know, gone on a hike together. We've gone on a power walk after dinner here and there, but we're not in the kind of physical shape that you're talking about. Well, I'd love to be that person to help you. 
And what that means is you have to take the next step. I'm telling you that I could potentially be the one to help you, but it's up to you to take that next step. And what that next step looks like is for you to simply book a call with me. You can do the call with your wife, get on the phone together. In fact, I have an amazing deal that I do for spouses to come on a journey with me, my Lean Body Breakthrough Coaching Program. The 21 day challenge may be a good starting point for you, but if you're realizing, you know what, we need, we need more of a personal approach then you need to hop on a call with me and I have a few spots this week. So do yourself a favor, enjoy the rest of your day, the weekend, I hope you enjoyed yourself and know that when you get on a call with me, I will take great care of you. And listen, this program, the program I have is not the right fit for everyone. And if it's not, I have a ton of colleagues, like there's a whole bunch of colleagues in my space, in the fitness space, online space, and I'd be happy to introduce you to one of those amazing coaches because I know I'm not the only coach in the world who could potentially help you, but I'll tell you what, you hop on a call with me and if my program doesn't fit, I'll point you in the direction of somebody who can help you. Sound good? Hope it does. Take care. Do that inventory check. Check if you've been married 10 years, see how much time you've invested in your personal health for your marriage and Take a look at it and say, oh, dang, I'm nowhere near 3,000 hours in the past 20 years. I'm about three hours in the past 20 years. Well, maybe today is the day that you have the wake-up call that you need to take that next step forward. That all it requires you to do is to hop on and book a call with me, and we'll see if we're a good fit to work together. If it is, then we'll get you started tomorrow. How about that? Take care and have a blessed rest of your day. We'll see you.